Do you ever find yourself struggling to work with a microwave resonator? Hi, I'm Kıvanç. In this video, we will look at feedback control at microwave frequencies. Most microwave systems rely on resonators that work as filters, enhance signals, or transduce as a sensor. However, even a small drift within the measurement would degrade the performance significantly as they are by nature high-Q systems with narrow bandwidth. A flexible microwave-enabled feedback controller is critical when designing such RF resonant devices. A traditional feedback controller, for instance a PID controller, typically relies on slowly varying signals for control and cannot accept a microwave signal. This is when close integration between a PID controller and a Lakin amplifier benefits the most. A Lakin amplifier with its demodulators can measure the signal properties of interest in a narrow band, namely amplitude and phase shift, while suppressing noise and disturbers. The PID controller can take these signals as its input. Let's now study this microwave resonator and close a feedback loop to allow us a stable measurement. It has cavity modes in 3 to 8 GHz range, which fits perfectly to the SHF Alice frequency range. For devices that operate up to 1.8 GHz, such as a typical tank circuit, the GHF Alice would be the best choice. Turning to the Lab 1 sweeper module to run a frequency response analysis, FRA in short, to characterize the resonator while driving it with a microwave signal and choose its particular mode to study. In open loop, we observe the phase shift and amplitude drifting over time. We first close a phase lock loop to ensure the mode is driven at the resonance frequency and by closing the loop, we see a stable phase measurement. We then close another loop that runs in parallel to control the resonator's amplitude by correcting the drive gain. And here we go. In few seconds, we have an automatic gain control setup ready at microwave frequencies, providing us a stable amplitude and phase measurement. Interested? This is only a glimpse on what is possible with a high-level integration of multiple demodulators and multiple feedback controllers. Such flexibility and performance enable more advanced schemes such as DFRT, PDH log, or parameter control to list a few. If you want to learn more about PLL and PID controls in general, you can visit our video series. If you have any questions, please reach out. We look forward to learning about your applications.